We're also going to talk about strengthening one's 5G portfolio and the news out of NEC that they were acquiring Aspire Technology was big. Um, Aspire Tech is a Dublin-based company. It provides tech solutions and systems integration specific to designing and integrating open networks. Let's talk about the significance there. Again, as we move toward global adoption of Open RAN 5G, I know you have thoughts on this one. <laughs> yeah, no, that uh, this move uh, leapt out at me because I think it's a really shrewd one by NEC. Uh, right. They really have up their game in terms of uh, their profile across the Open RAN ecosystem specifically, let alone right. the overall uh, 5G market. And so by acquiring Aspire technology, they're definitely locking in valuable systems integration skills to complement their already existing portfolio that extends across different hardware, software assets. And part of the reason why NEC is prominent is that it's been working with uh, major operators such as Telefonica, specifically in Germany, as well as Rakuten, uh, which has definitely been blazing the headlines in terms of advancing open RAN capabilities in commercial Absolutely. networks. And what's interesting is that NEC and Telefonica Germany are already deploying open RAN and VRAN small cells in uh, Munich uh, to kick off Telefonica Germany's own uh, venture into supporting open RAN across commercial networks. And uh, so, yeah, this is really cool because, uh, as I noted, NEC already has in its portfolio disaggregated hardware, software, X Hall, converged core, and automation orchestration assets. And that uh, uh, is specifically linked the automation and orchestration assets to its Netcracker subsidiary. So I right. also see the move enhancing uh, Netcracker's ability to play a more significant role in terms of supporting 5G service enablement uh, and uh, also operations enablement and so forth, wherever it's needed. And to kind of wrap this up, um, I think it's noteworthy that, um, uh, as, as you noted, Aspire is headquartered in Dublin, Ireland. So it's right. you know, naturally in Europe. And it's in Europe that you have these major operators, not just Telefonica, but Deutsche Telekom, Orange, Telecom Italia, all rallying behind Open RAN as something that is identified as a strategic imperative. They're even right. looking to enlist the European Commission to support uh, basically an official Open RAN uh, alliance uh, to you know, give it more heft uh, by have political backing in addition to the technological and business backing. So right. uh, stay tuned. Uh, I think this is going to up uh, NEC's hands, particularly in Europe, in terms yeah. of you know, winning more deals uh, further down the line in this uh, important but growing space. Yeah, absolutely. I think it was a really smart move.